NASA says that Voyager 1 has become the first man-made object to reach interstellar space, the cold, dark region between stars. Voyager 1, launched in 1977, has long been humanity's sentinel at the edge of the known solar system, transmitting invaluable data across nearly 15 billion miles of emptiness. This spacecraft, no larger than a compact car, has traversed the solar system and pierced through the heliopause into interstellar space. Recently, however, it has done more than just continue its lonely drift through the stars. It has made a detection that has rattled the scientific community. As it drifted farther into the galactic frontier, Voyager 1 recorded something inexplicable, an object unlike anything ever seen before. The data didn't just suggest an anomaly, it pointed towards something that deeply unsettled researchers. It was not noise, not interference, not a glitch. What Voyager 1 encountered is an object that defies classification, challenges the known boundaries of astrophysics, and may rewrite the understanding of what exists beyond our solar system. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more exclusive news. The detection began with an unusual fluctuation in magnetic field data, something Voyager hadn't encountered before in the thousands of hours it had been recording the calm and consistent patterns of interstellar stellar space. Normally, interstellar magnetic fields are subtle and stable, slowly varying as the spacecraft continues its trajectory. But these readings weren't gradual. They were jagged, intense, and disturbingly rhythmic. The changes occurred at regular intervals, too precise to be natural but too irregular to be mechanical in the conventional sense. Scientists initially suspected instrumentation errors, possibly a result of radiation or aging sensors. However, cross-analysis with redundant systems eliminated that possibility. This wasn't an internal issue, it was external, and it was close. As the Voyager 1 team began parsing the magnetic data, they discovered layers of interference that resembled encoded signals, not in the conventional radio spectrum, but embedded within the distortion patterns themselves. The object, or perhaps phenomenon, seemed to be manipulating the magnetic fields in a very specific, deliberate manner. Whatever was generating this disturbance was not simply reflecting or refracting background radiation. It was interacting with the space around it. More alarmingly, the pattern bore a structure that suggested intentional design. The implication was staggering. This was not a random cosmic event, but a deliberate, directed presence. For a spacecraft that has spent decades recording the tranquil void of deep space, this anomaly was extraordinary. Beyond the strange magnetic signals, the spacecraft's plasma wave instruments began registering sudden localized spikes in density, bursts of energy that were completely inconsistent with the known environment of interstellar space. Voyager had entered a region where the rules of space seemed to shift. These spikes were too localized and too intense to be a cloud of gas or dust. They weren't related to cosmic rays or solar emissions either, which Voyager had long stopped detecting at high levels. This was new and it appeared to have mass, structure, and possibly intent. When visualizing the raw data, scientists were stunned to notice repeating pulses within the plasma wave data, a beat, so to speak, spaced at intervals that matched the magnetic field fluctuations. The twin phenomena appeared to be in sync, like two components of a single system operating with eerie precision. This synchronicity made natural explanations increasingly difficult to defend. Nothing Voyager had ever encountered had such perfect alignment between magnetic and plasma wave data. The probability of a natural source became infinitesimal. The data was screaming out that something unprecedented had occurred. Adding to the mystery, the object did not appear on any visual records. Not because Voyager didn't look, but because it no longer had the capacity to capture visual images. Decades ago, the imaging systems were powered down to conserve energy for more critical instruments. That decision, logical at the time, now haunts researchers. Without visual confirmation, the shape, composition, and true scale of the object remain speculative. Still, estimates based on gravitational influence and field disruption suggest that this is not a small artifact or a drifting rock. It's massive, possibly comparable in size to a small moon or even a planetary body yet behaving in ways utterly incompatible with any known natural object. Voyager 1 continued transmitting, its signal now interspersed with interference that seemed to originate from the object itself. The radio waves reaching Earth began to carry strange modulations, distortions that bore a signature, a frequency range that repeated in harmonics outside any known cosmic phenomenon. These modulations weren't random. They were mathematical, 
Analysts ran Fourier transforms and spectral analyses, revealing patterns that suggested prime number sequences embedded in the signal. That detail cracked open a terrifying possibility. If the signal is structured with prime numbers, it implies intelligence. Prime numbers are fundamental to mathematics and communication. They do not appear by chance in natural radio emissions. The implications of such a signal are both exhilarating and chilling. An object broadcasting mathematical sequences implies awareness, and awareness implies purpose. This might not be a relic or a passive structure drifting through space, it might be operational. Some researchers began to hypothesize that Voyager 1 had not simply stumbled upon a random anomaly in deep space, but had tripped some kind of cosmic proximity alert. Perhaps the object had detected the spacecraft before it had even entered the vicinity. Maybe Voyager, so long dormant in its lonely journey, had been noticed. As the signals grew stronger and more consistent, a disturbing trend emerged. The frequency of pulses began to shift ever so slightly, aligning with Voyager 1's trajectory. It appeared as though the object wasn't just signaling, it was tracking. The pulses were adapting to the movement of the spacecraft, almost as if the object was observing it in real time. Though the spacecraft lacks maneuvering capabilities and is beyond any possible recall, it seemed that its presence was enough to provoke a reaction. The pulse rate increased steadily for 72 hours before suddenly halting. Silence, no signal, no field fluctuations, no plasma spikes. Everything stopped. The abrupt end left the scientific community in stunned confusion. Data that had been flowing in a storm of complex, rich detail went dead. Voyager 1's instruments remained functional, but the environment around it had returned to the expected norm of interstellar space. Quiet, cold, and vast. Whatever it was, it had either disappeared, shut down, or moved away. The object seemed to have vanished without a trace, leaving only questions in its wake, but the implications of its brief, potent interaction endure. There are theories emerging from different corners of the astrophysical and astrobiological communities. Some believe Voyager 1 encountered a kind of probe possibly autonomous, ancient and dormant until triggered by proximity to another technological artifact. Others speculate that it may have been a kind of interstellar sentry, watching for encroachments into a specific sector of the galaxy. The idea that space could be patrolled, that there are boundaries marked not by light years but by hidden watchers, is both alien and terrifying. The possibility that this object is artificial and not of human origin forces a re-evaluation of how humanity perceives the cosmos. For decades, space has been romanticized as an open frontier, empty and waiting. But this event suggests something else entirely. Space may not be empty, it may be surveilled, or worse, it may be governed. If intelligent constructs exist beyond the heliopause, then Earth and everything in it may already be cataloged, monitored, or even restricted in ways not yet understood. No one can determine whether Voyager 1 triggered a benign inspection or an ominous warning. The silence that followed the encounter offers no answers. Some fear that the interaction could have sent a signal outward, alerting other unknown presences of Earth's technological reach. Others argue the object might have been a passive recorder merely logging the encounter for unknown recipients. The true purpose remains speculative. Still, the fact that such an object exists at all means there is a system, a structure, a presence in interstellar space that had gone undetected for all of human history until Voyager 1 brushed against it. Scientists are now combing through old Voyager data with renewed intensity, seeking any subtle signs that might have been overlooked before. Minor anomalies once dismissed are now under fresh scrutiny, reinterpreted through the lens of this recent detection. Some have found slight fluctuations from years past that, in hindsight, could hint at similar but weaker encounters, suggesting this might not be the first time Voyager has passed near an unseen presence. Perhaps this was simply the first time one responded. The object's deliberate emission of structured signals also raises ethical questions about the limits of exploration. If space is populated with intelligences, machines or otherwise, does humanity have the right to intrude? Intrude without permission? Is ignorance of interstellar etiquette an excuse for trespass? Voyager, a silent emissary of Earth's curiosity, may have walked into territory guarded by powers that do not tolerate intrusions, even unintentional ones. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on Voyager 1's discovery? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.